Regular listeners may recall an interview we ran earlier this year about an American mystery writer who's hugely popular in Japan, but relatively unknown back here. Apparently, this is not an isolated case. Our next story is about an obscure country musician from Nashville in Tennessee who's huge in Sweden. Yes, I said country musician and huge in Sweden all in the same sentence. Ashley Cleek has his story. Walking down Broadway, the main drag in Nashville, feels like turning a radio dial. From one dark bar, a woman belts out a song about heartbreak. Next door, hipsters in fedoras and vests play rockabilly to a half-full room, while a man on the street strums his guitar. It feels like everyone is coming to Nashville to get their song heard and make it big. My name is Douglas Seegers. It was in downtown Nashville a few months ago that Doug Seegers met the Swedes who would change his life. Doug's 62. He's wiry with deeply tanned skin. He's been playing gigs on the street for decades. He's often lived on the street, too. Everyone downtown knows him. And so when a Swedish television show called Jill's Veranda came to Nashville, a woman who works at the local food pantry suggested Doug play for them. He met the film crew in an alleyway. They said, would you mind if we interviewed you? And I said, no, not at all, as long as you let me play a song for you. Because <laughs> I'll play for anybody, anywhere, anytime. <laughs> so uh, I sat there right in the grass, leaning up against the, build, the brick building, just playing the song and going down to the river. I'm going down to the river. Gonna wash my again. And as I was singing the song, they were kind of like kneeling down, just they were about maybe three feet away, just kneeling down and watching me and listening to the song. And then I started looking in their eyes, and I thought something was strange was happening. Little did Doug know that the show, Jill's Veranda, is a big deal. After his segment aired, Doug's song, Going Down to the River, hit number one on Swedish iTunes. All of a sudden, Doug was famous in Sweden. I've never talked about myself this way in my entire life, believe me, you got to believe me. But right now I am very, very famous in, in Stockholm, Sweden. In Nashville, no one knows who I am. First time I saw that when he performed it on the TV show, and it was a complete knockout. That's Håkan Olsson. He helped produce Doug's first ever solo album, which he says will likely hit number one. Olsson also booked Doug's upcoming Scandinavian tour. Just how popular is Doug's song? Popular enough that Swedish tourists travel to Nashville to meet him and to hear him play. Fans have also posted dozens of videos of themselves covering going down to the river. Hello YouTube. Hi everybody, uh, we are Planet Resort and we're going to do a tribute to Dark Seekers. I'm going down to him to wash my soul again. I've been running with the devil, but I know that he's not my friend. It's an honor, you know, it's a, that's a, the nice compliment, that's the best compliment you can get for your, for your music, is when other people start wanting to do it, because, I mean, they like my song. I don't really think it's all, it's that special, you know, but evidently there's some people that like it, so I'm going to run with it. Doug will play 60 dates on his tour. Most of the shows are sold out, and he'll be opening at a festival for his heroes, Neil Young and Van Morrison. You know, I got close friends that, that asked me, you're going to be able to hold up, you know, you're going to be able to handle all this attention and stuff like that. The honest answer would actually be to say, I don't know. <laughs> but my, my, my own personal attitude is I'm going, to, I'm going to run with it, I'm going to give it my best shot, and I'm going to try to knock them dead. No one I spoke with could explain to me exactly why Swedes have become so obsessed with Doug. He's a good musician with a great life story. But that's true of a lot of people. In the end, it seems, there's just a certain something that appeals to them, and Doug's got it. 